What's up Cloud Gamers? Welcome to the Cloud Gaming Next channel. So today I'm going to show you guys how you can pretty much run Google Stadia on any device. Now this is an update. I made a similar video but there's been an update. So today I want to again show you guys what this update is. You can actually now use any Bluetooth controller. I wouldn't say any, let's say most Bluetooth controller on this device right now. Before the issues that we were having was when you actually got this to work, uh, you weren't, you had to like hardwire the controller in and even with that, it didn't run as smooth. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. This website by Steady Source, giving them a shout out. I'm gonna post this in the description below so you guys can see it. So the first thing you want to do is uh, it states here that you want to connect your controller to the mobile via connect to your uh, controller to the mobile via Bluetooth. Once it's connected, make sure the controller has input device. You guys have seen that here. Then you want to launch Chrome on your mobile browser uh, to the following stadia.google.com. Uh, as shown, click the three dots as you guys have seen there and then copy and paste this URL right here. Now this is the important part and I'm, I saw this on Reddit, some people are struggling and I'll show you how to um, just get this part to work. I feel like once you can get that part to work, you should be good. And so that's pretty much it. There's no root in for this device. Um, you don't have to root your device, this should work. So to get started, again, I'm show you guys how to do it. So again, we, we're going to connect our Bluetooth controller here. It should be already connected, but we're going to use the Xbox One controller. And you can use a Nintendo Switch Pro controller here as well. I've tried it and that actually works. Um, if you guys want to see me do a video on that, let me know in the comments below uh, for that. Okay. So again, we connected the Bluetooth controller, right? So it states here, you guys want to go to settings. You want to make sure that input is uh input is where it should be so let's go to connection let's go to bluetooth this is the device we go to setting and input device you see that that's checked off all right so now having that connected having it checked off the next thing now you want to do is go open up chrome right here and then you want to hit this three dot button here again you can do this on any device ios uh uh, your tablet, your your iPad, and all that fun jazz. So you want to make sure that the desktop is um, checked off right there. So now all you have to do is go to stadia.google.com, right? So hit that. You want to sign into your account by clicking here. A second, let me zoom in so I can hit that. So I'm going to sign into my personal account. Okay. I just did that. Boom. Stadia is open. This is a Galaxy Note 10. I know you guys were saying, hey, you're using the Pixel last time. But just to showcase, this is a Galaxy Note 10. Again, I have my S Pen here so you guys can see that. Right. All right. So we booted up Destiny. Right. Now, the next step is to copy and paste that URL. So I'm show you where people struggle. So I already have it copied, right? From that uh, website I just showed you. So I'm gonna, this is the clipboard. If I was to paste it, this will be what shows up. So hit paste. Now what you guys wanna do for some reason, there's something wrong with that link that they give us. So you wanna scroll all the way to the beginning right here right and you want to delete the first letter the J so let me pull out my keyboard and show you guys how I delete that so you're gonna see me delete that press the back button here hopefully you guys can see that back delete that and then just put a J again and that's um, let me just focus make sure you guys can see that and then hit enter or go whichever one so I'm gonna hit go and that should be all that you need to do now the last step is to then hit play and so this should launch oh yeah you also want to take off auto rotate I have mine 
to where if you rotate the screen it should be good so destiny should load up here in a bit so as you can see there's destiny running via google stadia and now this controller should work with it and i'll show you guys that so i hit a boom it goes right into destiny so fellas this is how you do it this should work on any device again this is my note 10 and the gameplay is pretty solid i'm going to show you guys using the xbox one controller here let me just pull this up a little bit so you guys can see the input as i'm doing it so again i'm navigating here you guys have seen this running wirelessly there's no wires see that no wires i'm using the xbox controller so i'm gonna hit a takes me right in there this is me using an xbox controller right now so we're just gonna open up just a normal uh, vanguard strike Hopefully we're able to get a game soon. But yeah, look at this, guys. This is Stadia running on a Galaxy Note. Again, I, the important part is deleting the first letter from um, that URL that you have to copy and paste. and should be good. I ran into the issue where I was trying to um, start it and it just... I was trying to copy and paste it and it just was not going. Um, all right. So you know what? We're not going to do... Let me just go to the tower. I don't know how long that's going to take. I'm just going to go to the tower and just show you guys the movement works um, really well. So sorry about the blur too. Um, I had to push this back so I can show you guys the input so you guys can see that I'm actually navigating what I'm saying all right so here we go it's gonna load in oh just a big old glare sorry about the glare but you guys should be able to see what's going on and all I'm going to do next is just demo that the controls work the way it should it's taking quite a sweet old time to load to the tower I don't know why but let's give it some time There we go. Tower we go. And the cool thing about this, guys, is you can actually use your data to play this. You don't have to be connected to Wi-Fi. So this is another um, way to bypass needing to use Wi-Fi. So um, I'm going to try here in a bit and see how it goes to disconnect and see if I can still play. But I tried this on my data, on my note, and it actually worked without me having to use Wi-Fi. But I uh, just want to show you guys the controller works first, and then I'll try to do it without Wi-Fi. I don't know if it's going to kick me out, but just trust, believe. I've done this. I've ran this game on Wi-Fi on this phone. Uh, I mean, without Wi-Fi on this phone, and it worked. So, again, it's a good way to bypass needing Wi-Fi. You can actually use your data. Okay. So I'm sure you movement. This is me moving. So both analog stick works. You can see by me looking around and me running. Okay. The jump button works. Duck button works. Everything works. So again, this is me playing Destiny on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. And it looks incredible. Alright, so now let me try to get off Wi-Fi. Sorry about the glare again. Let me get off Wi-Fi here. And let's see if that still continues. Oh, it did kick me out. But I'll try to boot it. Um, let's go back to the game. See what happens. It's really, really laggy. But it's working again. I'm not on Wi-Fi right here. And this is Destiny working. It's really laggy. But it's working and I'll just show you guys see my Wi-Fi is off 
and I'm using my data right now to run Destiny. All right, fellas, I hope this helps. If it does, hit the like button, thumbs up, and I hope to catch you guys in the next video. All right, fellas, till next time. Peace out.